with Dee. That's me. Today we're going to have a menu plan and grocery haul. I'm not used to doing this. So I'm going to show you my menu plan that I did plan again this week and the small grocery haul. I just needed a few things because I have quite a few things in my freezer. So I'm going to show you that and a little haul I got from a local produce stand. Let me turn you around and let's get started with the menu plan. All right, here is my meal planner. Get the pills out of the way. For Sunday, it's it's football here in my house. So I've given up trying to cook. So we just have pickies all day. I make like appetizer type foods. We get, or I make homemade pizza. We have wings, salads. It's it's not a bad day for me really, but it's I've given up um, dinner because it just doesn't work. So that's what we have had had because it's Monday today. So Monday I'm making chili. Turkey chili, to be exact. I'm going to serve it in an acorn squash, which you will see in my grocery haul. Tuesday, Big Mac Sloppy Joe's. This recipe was from Joan's Point of Plate. She made it last week. It looked really good. I used to work at McDonald's, so I'm a Mac girl. So I'm interested to see how these and how the family likes them. So you will see that on my What I Eat in a Day tomorrow. Wednesday, Chicken Strips. And a side. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to serve with this chicken strips yet. Probably squash fries. And I will explain that when you see my grocery haul. Thursday, it is shrimp spring rolls with rice. I am getting the spring roll. I haven't gotten the spring roll wrappers. Um, they didn't have it at Walmart. So I've gone to ShopRite. They're the clear ones. If you've ever seen spring rolls. The clear. And I, and I put like uh, tofu noodles and shrimp. And so I put zucchini in mine. My son doesn't like it. And fresh basil. If you want, I might do a cook with me on these because they're they're cute, but they're a little precarious. You have to um, be really careful because the wraps can rip. But maybe I'll do it. If I, if I can fit it in, I'm going to do that. Friday, Tim's home from school for spring break, so we usually like to get pizza. Saturday, Tim's home from school. He likes to go out to his favorite Italian restaurant. So that's what we're going to be doing Saturday. And in my prep column. I have to do my egg bites for a collaboration that I'm doing on Saturday with Joan and Christy. And I have to fit that in somehow this week. Uh, what do I have here? Oh, go to ShopRite for the, um, no, go to the road stand for the squash, which I already did. And I have to go to ShopRite to pick up the wraps for the spring rolls. So that's so my prep to do for this week. My shopping list was right here. Again, you tear it off and you take it with you. Now, mind you, I did my own Walmart grocery haul, so I didn't really have to tear it off, but it's great if you want to go to the store, you have your list. And if you like this menu uh, menu pad, uh, Life and Apples has sent it to me to share with you. I will put a link in the description box, and if you're interested, it's, I think it's $11.99. It's really not that expensive. And you get 60 pages, so it's a year's worth of menu pads, menu sheets, and you could plan... For 60 days 60 weeks and i will have a 15 percent off code because they were nice enough to give me a code for my subscribers so again no pressure if you don't like it then don't worry about it but this is something i wanted to try because i'm trying to meal plan as you know being faithful followers of my channel this is rare that you see me meal plan but i'm trying to stay better on plan trying to be more organized trying to just help myself a little bit more get to goal stay at goal organize my life a little bit so this was actually not too hard to maintain. They have a, a, a book that seemed a little overwhelming, but this is just really basic. And I'm just doing dinners. You probably could do three meals if you choose to, but I'm just prepping, planning dinners right now. And I love the fact you have a prep side and a shop side. Like you said, you tear it off, you take it with you. And then the next week, you just rip it off. I think it's pretty cool. Now let's get to my Walmart grocery pickup and my proof produce stand pickup haul whatever it is see i'm getting better all right here is my grocery haul from walmart grocery pickup i wanted some fresh basil these are for the spring rolls that i'm going to be making look at this it comes in a little pot how cute i'll probably kill it but you know got some i always get a pack of chicken breasts when i'm there because it's down on a pound and i just stock up this is the beef for the big mac sloppy joe's shrimp for my spring rolls buns for the big mac sloppy joes lettuce for the big mac sloppy joes 
It's the shredder. You have it's best to use the shredded, so I have regular lettuce, but I got the shredded. I got some sugar snaps just to put it with dip. These are Pasta Zero or Shirtaki spaghetti. These are very low in points. I think it's I think it's actually zero because it's tofu. But I put these inside my spring rolls. So I might do a cook with me on that. We'll see. Mushrooms for the quiche cups I'm making for a collab. Fat-free Thousand Island for the Big Mac Sloppy Joes. I needed some romaine hearts, so I got some of those. And I do believe that is it. It was a pretty small haul. I just needed a few things because I have several things this week that I already have in the freezer. So let me show you what I got at the produce stand. I'm going to show you what I got at a local produce stand. Now, these prices you'll never find anywhere because they're dirt cheap at this produce stand. I got five peppers for $2. I got a spaghetti squash for $2. An acorn squash for $1. A butternut squash for $2. And delicata squash for a dollar each. And zucchinis were, I think, $3 for, I think there was five of them. Yeah, but you've never had a delicata squash. You cut it down the middle. You wash it, of course. You wash it really nice. Scrub it. Don't peel it. Cut each end off. Cut the little ends. Split it down the middle. Scoop out the seeds and slice them in half moons. And you eat the skin and the flesh. It's delicious. It's tender. The skin tenderizes and it's absolutely delish. I make delicata fries all the time. My family loves them, believe it or not, because it's literally crazy that my kids eat squash fries, but they eat squash fries. So these are only around a limited time, but no Trader Joe's usually has them. But our little produce shack, it's one of those honor system stands for a dollar each. I'm, I'm going to be going there every week, I think, or maybe twice a week getting these in until we're sick of them. But yeah, for a dollar and for two dollars, look at the size of this butternut squash. It is huge. And this spaghetti squash, you know how to do, cut that in half, scoop out the seeds, uh, brush it with a little olive oil, flush side down, I mean cut side down, roast it for about an hour, and it shreds up beautifully. This is going to be in dinner tonight when I'm making my turkey chili, because I'm having chili again. <clears throat> I will probably try to show you a picture of it later. I'm going to wash it off, cut it in half, scoop out the seeds. Brush with olive oil, cut side down, roast for about 50 minutes at 400 or maybe 375, depends. And so the inside's tender. I'm going to flip it over and pour the chili in the cavity. I will definitely take a picture of this tonight and show you my chili in an acorn squash. Actually, I'm thinking about doing a cooking, cook with me and stuffing this with like a um, turkey stuffing, like a zero point turkey stuffing and maybe... Little turkey sausage I'm thinking it's, it's it's delicious if you've never tried squash you need to it's zero points it's delicious my boys I used to get them to eat vegetables well this was the one was butternut there's the seeds are only in the bottom part the rest is just solid squash I'd cut it in chunks roast it and then when it was almost done it takes about I do 400 for maybe about 25 minutes because it's diced like a nice what one and a half inch dice and then I throw pancake syrup on it and then let that caramelize like a minute or two they can't get enough of this if you can't get your kids to eat vegetables try squash it's awesome and I'm going to throw zucchini in a recipe this weekend I'm in a collaboration for a progressive low point a day of eating and this is going to be in my breakfast so you can get your kids to eat zucchini and I'm going to show you how all right let me turn you around and finish this up. Well, that was my meal plan and my little grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know when Dish with the uploads, she uploads pretty much every day. Um, check that uh, notification bell and you will get, you'll get that, hey, Dish with the uploaded a video. I gotta go see what it is. All right, guys, I'm trying with this menu plan and grocery haul stuff because I know this is what you guys like. I'm trying. I really am. But let me know what you think at the bottom. Let me know. How did I do? I love constructive criticism. Have a great day. I will see you on another Dish with Tea. That's me.